for level one today I'm going to show you how to make um, a um, stripe um, abstract vector effect using only an art brush in um, Adobe Illustrator CS5 or this meant to work in other versions as well so as you can see I have made some um, arts using these lines, geometric lines, and also made circles. So I'm the um, layout artist of our um, yearbook staff. So we're gonna close this one. And I'm gonna show you how to make this in Illustrator. So first, you all have this to create a new artboard, file new, and choose a custom size or anything that you like. So I'm gonna choose this one. Let's wait. So there you go. So in order to make that lines, all you need to do is to create a square like this. Square. Make sure um, what you call this. There is no outlining. So take the red line here with the square. So we're gonna copy this one to four parts. Control. Oops. We're gonna put color on this one first. Let's just wait. So I wanna call this one. Then select this one. Control C control F. Control C control F. Control C control F. Oops, it's F. There. I have four kinds of them. So I want them to be in different um colors. Uh, so we'll have to attain that um stripe effect. There. Let me select this one. So this blue, um, brown, and violet. So all you have to do is to select all of this using the selection tool. Now, once you select this all, all you need to do is to click on this brush, click on this new brush, and select art brush click OK. Make sure the, or the direction is upward or downward. So in this case, I just want to use upward. And just click OK. As you can see, there will be a new brush here created here. So we can delete this one. Click on the pen tool. Mm, say that. Make sure there will be no outline so that there will be no colors. So as you can see, um, I can make a um, any curves that I want or shape using this um, art brushes. There. seems to look like um, awful. There. So there you go. You have a cool stripe effect on uh, your artboard. And you could just use them to make some several effects. Like this one I have for my yearbook. I just added, I just import this um, shift into the Photoshop, you know, for further editing. There. This is the name of my school, and this is our theme. And this is our school publisher's um, name. And this I use symmetrical lines to do that. So that's all for today. And thanks for watching. And please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.